Hey guys, it's James from Tech Tavern, and this is the review of the 2015 MacBook Air. So let's start off with the design. The MacBook Air has a sleek aluminium design which covers the lid of the MacBook. In the middle there is a small white Apple logo which uses the display to light it up when you are using the computer. On the bottom the aluminium design continues with one piece covering the whole back. There are four grippy black rubber feet in the corners as well which are useful for using it on a desk as they are really really grippy. The left hand side of the computer shows off the wedge design of the MacBook. From the left to the right side it includes a MagSafe 2 charging connection, a USB 3.0 port, a 3.5mm headset jack and dual microphones which is surprisingly muffled. On the right side the wedge design is just as visible. From right to left, the side includes a Thunderbolt 2.0 port, a USB 3.0 port, an SDXC card slot, which is really useful if you're a photographer or you just use an SD card on a daily basis. One neat touch in the design is the lid lifting process. You only need one finger to lift up the lid, whilst most computers require two hands to open the lid. The keyboard on the MacBook is the best I've used on a laptop. For some reason it is mapped to the US, I think it's because I got the international one, but I mapped it to the UK so it's okay for what I need to do now. The keys are tactile if a little firm and they're also well sized and well spaced and offer a good amount of travel. Here is a little sound test so you get an idea of the volume made when typing. My only major gripe with the keyboard is the arrow key positioning. The arrow keys are made really small in, in, or in order to fit them into a rectangular shape of the keyboard, when I wish they made a larger space below for bigger keys. When the environment gets darker, the keyboard backlighting switches on. It has several levels of backlighting, so you have no problem viewing the keyboard no matter the situation. The trackpad is also really good and responsive and offers multi-touch gestures. It doesn't however have force touch, but instead the more traditional diving board mechanism. Here is a sound test of the trackpad in action. The screen on the MacBook Air is ok, but for the price you would expect better. The colours are fine and there are loads of brightness levels, but the resolution is only 1440 by 900 and I would expect at least 1080p at this price point. The camera is good, however you wouldn't want to use it for serious photos, not that you're going to take any with a laptop. It is still good enough for social network selfies in good lighting though. The speakers are loud and rich in quality. There are lots of audio levels, as with its brightness levels, and it can easily fill a room. My only gripe though is that it lacks in bass a lot. Here is a sound demo of the speakers in action. Battery life is excellent, though perhaps not what Apple claim. I got around 7-8 to eight hours doing useful tasks using things like YouTube and iMovie and Spotify. You may get closer to the 12 hour claim if you only web browse or watch movies off of the drive that's installed. There are also some cool power save options which may also help you get the 12 hour claim but they're tucked away in the system preferences. Performance for the baseline 1.6GHz i5 model is good. YouTube videos play great in 1080p, but in 4K they are like slideshows in the Chrome browser, however in Safari they run buttery smooth. I opened up all the applications at once to see how the computer would handle it. Whilst opening the apps, I couldn't really switch between the apps, but after it was surprisingly smooth. All in all, it took the computer about 50 seconds to open 40 plus applications. Gaming was also good. I could play League of Legends on very high settings and you would expect 50 to 70 FPS depending on the amount of things happening. However, during this time, the laptop got ridiculously hot, even with the fan running at full. So I decided to tone down the settings to medium to high, where the FPS was capped at 30. I got great gameplay whilst the laptop kept fairly cool. For software, the computer comes with a built-in app store in which you can find a lot of useful apps, but not many good games. The built-in software is very useful, with things like Pages and iMovie all included. Here is a picture of my launcher with all the apps in it. So that is it guys for the review of this computer. I've really enjoyed using it so far, and I would definitely recommend getting it if you're looking for a um, relatively inexpensive MacBook for starting off your computers, like whatever you want to do with it. So I use it for video editing, it's fine. I use it for light gaming and it's fine. So I definitely recommend it if you're looking just for 
a laptop for basic tasks so that has been the video if you did like please leave a thumbs up down below please comment anything you'd like to say or anything i missed out that i can answer in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more content see you on the next one